ಮತ್ತೇನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದೀವಪ್ಪ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಶಿಯೇಟ್ ದ ಫಾಲೋವಿಂಗ್ ಅಂತ ನಮ್ಮ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಕೇಳ್ತಾರ ಆ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಮಾಡುವಂತ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದೀವಿ ಹಂಗಾದ್ರೆ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಅನ್ಬಹುದು ಅಥವಾ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಶಿಯೇಟ್ ದ ಫಾಲೋವಿಂಗ್ ಅಂತ ಅನ್ಬಹುದು ಹೌದಾ ನಾನ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಕನ್ನಡದಲ್ಲಿ ವ್ಯತ್ಯಾಸಗಳು ರೀತಿಯಾಗಿ ಬರ್ತಾವ ಅವುಗಳ ಜೊತೆ ನಿಮ್ ನಿಮ್ ಜೊತೆ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡಿದೀನಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಮಾಡುವಂತ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಿದೀನಿ ಹಂಗಾದ್ರೆ ಈಗ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರುವಂತ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಒಂದ್ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಕನ್ನಡ ಮತ್ತು ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಹೌದಾ ಕಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನು ಏನ್ಪ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ವಿವರಣೆ ನೀಡುವಂತ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಹೌದಾ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಆಗಿ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಅಲ್ಲೇ ವಿವರಣೆ ಇಡಿರ್ತೀನಿ ಬಟ್ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ನನ್ನ ಗಾಡಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ ಆಗ್ತದೋ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕನ್ನಡವನ್ನ ಬಳಸ್ಕೊಂಡಿರ್ತೀನಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಹೌದಾ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಏನ್ಪ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಏನಿದೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸ್ಯಾಚುರೇಟೆಡ್ ಮತ್ತು ಅನ್ಸ್ಯಾಚುರೇಟೆಡ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಸಿಂಥಿದೆ ಓಕೆ ವಾಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಸ್ಯಾಚುರೇಟೆಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಅನ್ಸ್ಯಾಚುರೇಟೆಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ದ ಹೈಡ್ರೋ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ಸ್ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ದೋಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಸ್ಯಾಚುರೇಟೆಡ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ದ ಹೈಡ್ರೋ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ಸ್ ಕಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಡಬಲ್ ಆರ್ ಟ್ರಿಪಲ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ದೋಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಅನ್ಸ್ಯಾಚುರೇಟೆ ಹೈಡ್ರೋ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಯಾಚುರೇಟೆಡ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಲೆಸ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟಿವ್ ವೈ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ then unsaturated hydrocarbons are more reactive okay uh, they, they easily undergo oxidation that's why uh, they are more reactive an example for uh, saturated hydrocarbons are alkenes and cycloalkenes example for uh, unsaturated hydrocarbons are alkenes and alkynes and, uh, if we think that another uh, uh, you know the another pa andre vyathasa nododadre sangrahana yogya kalavadi antu karithiyo adanna you know preservative time saturated hydrocarbon contents move uh, preservative uh, time is very less in where unsaturated hydrocarbons that's why uh, by additional reactions sankalana kriya galanna madodra moolaka unsaturated hydrocarbon galanna nave en martivi andre saturated hydrocarbons galagi nickel palladium catalyst anna balasodra moolaka en pa andre hydrogen alla vanna hayisodra moolaka unsaturated hydrocarbons anna saturated aagi parivartisthi this is the difference between saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons next homologous organs and analogous organs okay these are the organs which have a common origin but perform a different functions those are called as a homologous organs then analogous organs uh, these are the organs which have different origin but perform a similar functions perform a similar functions okay uh, those are called as analogous organs hoda rachana rupi angalu mattu karya rupi angalu okay then uh, the wings of a birds and uh, four arms of a humans both they are similar looks similar that's why they are homologous but perform uh, different functions okay uh, the four arms of a humans are uh, do uh, different functions and the birds uh, four arms uh, they perform for fly then uh, analogous organs wings of a bat and wings of a butterfly both uh, if you see the organs of a butterfly and if you see the organs of a bat uh, structurally they are differ but uh, both are helpful for both are they helpful for fly okay. next one oxidation and reduction uh, addition of a uh, oxygen is called as a oxidation where to element or to compound to element or to compound addition of oxygen is called oxidation to element or to compound the removal of oxygen is called as a reduction then in oxidation loss of electrons takes place in reduction gain of electrons takes place it is the process of removal of hydrogen uh, it's not given in textbook but but the process of removal of hydrogen from a element or from a compound uh, it is called as a oxidation the process of addition of a hydrogen to compound or element it is called as a reduction okay now uh, we move towards next that's uh, arteries and veins okay arteries they carry blood away from the heart means they carry blood to all parts of our body they carry blood where all parts of our body from heart okay then veins they carry blood towards the heart they bring some blood from all parts of the body to heart they bring some blood uh, from all body parts to where to heart Okay. then arteries have a thick walls without walls arteries have a thick walls without walls veins have a thin walls and they have a walls why they have walls to stop the backward flow of blood stop the backward flow of pulse wherever walls are there in heart also in blood veins also okay why to uh, they prevent the backward flow of blood next concave mirror and convex mirror 
okay concave mirror is called as a converging mirror convex mirror is uh, uh, what uh, these are called diverging mirrors why they are called converging and why they are called diverging means when we pass a light rays when we pass a light rays uh, parallel to principal axis the light rays converges at a point where they converges they converges at a principal focus so uh, what concave mirror is called as a converging mirror convex uh, when we pass a light rays parallel to principal axis the light rays diverges and whatever the diverge points imaginarily converges at a one point that's also principal focus but here light rays are diverge that's why convex mirror is called as a diverging mirror convex mirror is called as a diverging mirror one minute then in concave mirror inner surface acts as a reflecting surface in a <coughs> convex mirror outer surface acts as a reflecting surface then uh, in concave mirror uh, what real and virtual images are produced in convex mirror all images are virtual all images are virtual uh, in a concave mirror whatever we discussed real and virtual uh, at infinity beyond c at c in between c and f at f these all cases real uh, images are produced but whenever we can keep a object we can whenever we kept object in between the uh, principal focus and a pole of a mirror in that case virtual image is produced that's why it produces a real and virtual image which one concave mirror and convex mirror all cases produces a virtual images next next concave lens and convex lens concave lens and convex lens okay uh, both are concave lens and convex lens both are the transparent lenses okay uh, they are thin at the middle concave lenses are thin at middle and thick at the edges concave lenses convex lenses they, what it is a thick in the middle and uh, thin at the edges thin at the edges then uh, concave lenses are called a diverging lens already i explained in concave mirror and convex mirror when we pass a light rays um, parallel to principal axis the light rays are diverged that's why concave lens is called as a diverging lens then convex lens when we pass a light rays parallel to principal axis the light rays converges at a point where in principal focus that's why it is called as a converging lens always produce concave lens always produces a virtual images then convex lens it produces both real and virtual images uh, i already told for you what when we keep object when we kept object uh, beyond sorry at infinity then uh, beyond the 2f f in between f and f are on f okay all these cases real images are produced and when we keep object in between f and o principal focus and optic center of the lens then uh, the image produced is virtual image produced is virtual next ac dynamo dc dynamo ac dynamo dc dynamo okay ac alternating current produces alternating current dc direct current produces a direct current then uh, ac dynamo armature rotates with the slip rings or full rings armature rotates with the slip rings then armature rotates with the split rings where in dc dynamo next the direction of current changes in every half revolution the direction of current changes in every half rotation or revolution the direction of current does not change the direction of current does not change where in dc dynamo or the direct uh, direction of current uh, uh, turns into backward flow or in single direction reversed every half cycle the direction of current reversed in dc dynamo next erosion and rancidity the metals are long time exposure to moisture or acids they become corroded it's called as a corrosion then rancidity the process of oxidation of oils and fats produces a foul smell that's called as a rancidity that's called as a rancidity then all metals maximum all metals undergo a corrosion rusting of iron is example for corrosion then rancidity food atoms oils and fats whatever the food made from